Her mom may know Newell Rubbermaid's food storage containers very well, but what she probably doesn't know is how the company is making pushes into several other big areas of the consumer product space. Joining me today to discuss the transformation of Newell Rubbermaid is President and CEO Michael Polk. Thanks for stopping by so early today. It's I appreciate great to it. Be with you. Well, fresh off the earnings uh, in uh, last week, uh, innovation. This has been a key theme over the past couple quarters for you. Two areas specifically: healthier lifestyles and pens. Maybe you could take us through what's yeah, driving sure. that. Yeah, sure. Look, you know, as we as we announced last week, we had a very strong set of results in the second quarter and a strong start to our first half. Our our core sales, which is the measure of underlying growth in the business, was. Uh, was up 5.1% in the second quarter and in the first half 4.9%. A huge part of what's driving uh, that kind of really strong performance uh, is the quality and, and strength of our innovation activities. Mm -hmm. uh, about two years ago, we invested in, the, in, uh, in these capabilities by bringing some new people into the company, but also broadening the scope of what we think about as being sort of the key enabling uh, activities that contribute to great innovation. We invested in uh, a world-class design center. We've doubled our amount of consumer insight uh, research that we're doing. And these things together have fed a much stronger innovation funnel that's beginning to uh, have an impact in the marketplace. Right, specifically in two areas that I've noticed. Uh, one, water bottles. That yeah. is a big area. Yeah. And I guess, I'm guessing one place you're looking to maybe make further acquisitions and off camera, we talked about the food storage business. You know, come out with a big new product next year. Yeah, our our our, um, our big drivers of growth in the business today. We we've, we've made three acquisitions last year. Uh, Contigo, great uh, uh, durable and thermal water uh, water uh, bottle and uh, coffee uh, mug business. Uh, Bubba, and then Baby Jogger. We made a baby acquisition. Those businesses are growing really vibrantly, double digit growth mm -hmm. um, uh, on a pro forma basis. And uh, as they come into our core growth numbers will contribute to growth acceleration as we report uh, our underlying growth uh, once they reach their first anniversary. The real drivers of our core growth performance though are our writing business and our food storage business. And as we were talking earlier, you know, we've got an incredible pipeline of ideas um, that leverage what is a world-class portfolio uh, in writing. Mm -hmm. um, we're the leader in the writing business uh, globally and certainly in the United States. And also our food storage business, which is really important to us. Um, there's a lot of interesting things uh, going on in the core of that business, but uh, we are also pushing the shoulders of that business out into new spaces. And, sure, and, and speaking within writing, too, one of the places I know where writing is big for you is, is the office supply sector. Sure. So as we talk about a Staples and an Office Depot merger, yeah. how are you thinking about that and planning for that? Look, we've done very, very well through um, through the transformation of the writing retail landscape over the last few years. We grew high single digits last year. We're growing uh, through the middle of this year. Our core growth uh, globally is over 10% in our writing business, despite the fact that uh, the Office Superstore channel is consolidating. Uh, Office Depot and Office Max came together as one company last year, and both staples in that new entity uh, are taking retail stores out as they look to optimize their retail footprint in their commercial uh, business. We're growing really vibrantly in the context of those changes, and it's up to us to make sure that uh, we can absorb uh, the challenges associated with retail consolidation in one segment um, by making sure our, our, our products are available where consumers shop. Mm -hmm. And even uh, within that office supply sector, it's back to school. I mean, I'm sure you guys have a phenomenal read of back to school. And one takeaway that I got from the earnings call, things may have started off pretty good. The sell-in of the product into the office supplies seemed to be pretty good. What well, are you seeing? Yeah, you know, back to school is a critical drive period for our writing business um, in many countries around the world, not just in the United States. And, it, and back to school happens in three phases. The sell-in, mm -hmm. the activation of all this, um, all this merchandise that you put into the trade, through the months in the United States, through the months of July, August, and early September, through advertising, through display activity, through great shopper marketing, through great marketing direct to the consumer. That's the sellout period. And then there's the replenishment period, which happens after all that retail activity. All three phases of back to school have to work well for you to have a great back to school season. For us, we've had a phenomenal sell-in. We know we're going to be spending at industry-leading levels uh, relative to our peer uh, group. Um, we, there's nobody that will come close uh, from an advertising perspective and a marketing perspective. We know ha we have very, very strong uh, new products coming to market in this time frame like uh, Papermate Inkjoy Minis, like Sharpie Extreme, like Papermate um, Inkjoy 2-in-1s, uh, which is a a pen that has a stylus on one end and a pen on the other. So we've got a great um, um, a volume of innovation with significantly higher marketing support than our, than our competitors. So we're confident in phase two, uh, the sellout period. 
Uh, as it comes to phase three, we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, depends on, on phase two being successful, but uh, that, that'll prove out in the month of September. Well, good luck and uh, good luck this quarter. Thanks for stopping by. I Thanks. appreciate it. Thanks. It's great to see you. Thank yeah. you.